The distance food travels from the farm to the plate is called food miles. Currently, food miles make up a quarter of the total distance travelled by lorries in the UK every year. And as more and more of our food is being imported from abroad, often by air, its environmental impact is increasing. This is because for each food mile travelled, an aircraft generates ten times more carbon dioxide emissions than road transport. If we can reduce the distance our food travels, we will lower the amount of carbon dioxide emissions generated and limit its environmental impact. Yet how often do we glance down at the labels on our fruit and vegetables to see where they've come from? We have a vast array of choice no matter what time of the year we shop. But at what cost? Over nine-tenths of the fruit and about a half of the vegetables eaten in the UK are imported. Yet at the same time, we export the produce we've grown to other countries. This simultaneous exchange of food produces around 20 million tonnes of unnecessary carbon dioxide in the UK. Being able to buy strawberries in January can be appealing. But is it really a good idea to ship unseasonal fruit and vegetables thousands of miles across the world, when if we waited a few months, we could buy them from a few miles away? Another reason for mounting food miles is comparative labour costs. For example, some British fish is now sent to China for processing, then sent back to the UK to be sold. In fact, to import just one shopping basket of food produces the same amount of carbon dioxide as the average household produces during eight months of cooking. Next time you're at the supermarket, have a quick look at the food labels in your trolley. You'll probably find some foods have travelled further in their lifetime than you. Thank <laughs> you.